Hi, this is Ross, the creator of Polkadot Staking Dashboard. In this video, we'll quickly go through the process to start nominating on Polkadot. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to switch my network to West End. West End is our test network. I'm also going to minimize the side menu. Um, I think it looks nice like this. So the first thing to do is to connect our accounts. We support a range of extensions. I'm going to connect to Talisman and Polkadot.js. Our accounts have been imported automatically and I can choose which one I'm going to start nominating with, which in this case will be ROS2. ROS2 is already in a pool, but it doesn't matter. We can both be in a pool and nominate simultaneously on the dashboard. So the tab we're interested in is the nominate tab, the second one down. So I'm going to click that and then click start nominating. So this is the setup process. The first thing we want to do is select a controller account. You can think of your controller as a manager for your staking position, as opposed to ROS2, who will be the stash, the holder of the funds being staked. So for the controller, I'm going to select ROS1, continue. The reward destination, we currently have three options built in here. We can compound the rewards back in our staking position to generate more rewards or we can transfer our awards to our stash or controller account as free balance. That will be available to transfer or do whatever you like with. I'm going to choose back to staking. So now we choose the validators we wish to nominate. We've made this very simple. Um, optimal selection is a great one. It chooses a mix of active and inactive validators. We also have the option to choose active low commission ones. We can choose from favorites. If you hop over to the validate tab, and click the heart icon, I can add favorite validators and they'll be available to browse here as well in my favorites tab. But I'm going to go back to the nominations uh, and click optimal selection. So if we're not happy with this selection, we can regenerate, we can select and remove some, or we can add random parachain validators, validators who are actively um, validating parachains or just a random validator who may be active or inactive. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to move myself out of the way and click continue. The last thing to do is bond. I have 109 Westies available. I'm going to click the max button. So I comfortably surpass the active threshold. So I'll be active and earning rewards. On Polkadot, this is around 171 dot at the time of recording. So get past this amount and you'll be actively earning rewards. If you cannot, um, it's, um, joining a pool will be a much better option for you. The minimum amount is just one dot to join. I'm not going to bond my entire amount. I'm going to bond 105. So I have some Westies available for future transaction fees and click continue again. So here's my summary. Everything's configured, estimated transaction fees here, and I'm going to start nominating. So the transaction is pending and in a couple of seconds our dashboard should update. So we're, act we're waiting for active nominations. In the next era we will become active. In Polkadot an era is 24 hours. We can change our options here if we wish to, change our controller account, bond more funds, manage our nominations, again if I move myself out of the way, etc. So that's been it for now. Thanks for watching the video.